Now shifting gears, the season of shredding is upon us, and skiers and snowboarders are hitting the slopes. But with the fun that winter sports can bring to the North Country comes the ever-present risk of injury. So today in studio, Yesenia De Garcia spoke with Dr. Stuart Davis from the Summit Health Center about the best practices for staying safe on the slopes. With us today, we have orthopedic doctor Stu Davis, who is a skier himself and is joining us after skiing this morning. Hi, Dr. Stu. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, Yesenia. Nice to be here. So, doctor, tell us a little bit about what kind of injuries we see around this time of the year. Well, with snowboarders, we tend to see ankle injuries and wrist injuries. When snowboarders fall, they break wrists, and we see a lot of fractured wrists. With skiers, we tend to see knee injuries, ACLs, and MCL injuries. And for somebody who wants to go skiing or snowboarding, uh, what tips to prevent um, these kind of injuries do you have? I think the number one thing that they can do to prevent an injury is preconditioning. Doing some kind of aerobic exercise on a regular basis, doing a Stairmaster, elliptical trainer, getting on a treadmill, and being in good enough shape that they could probably run a mile to two before going up on the mountain. The second thing I think that's very helpful is warming up. Taking a run early, you know, a, an easier run rather than a black diamond, start with a blue square. And the last thing is getting off the mountain before they're tired. When you get tired, that's when people get injured. That last run of the day should be as easy as the first run of the day. Well, those are some good recommendations for anyone to consider. Uh, thank you, Dr. Stu, for joining us and talking about uh, winter sports injuries. Glad to be here. 